again, metaphorically go home. Not necessarily, they're already home and have to try again in stage three. And it's looking like phase. Want to make sure they continue pushing forward. Oh my goodness. A flawless round to kick things off. That is not what I was expecting. Gonna counter the high ground there with that updraft. Unfortunately, the ghost not gonna be enough. Flash is coming on through. Curry looking for something, wow. but again, it's trying to take control of Long B. The wall is down from Viper. Spider dashing through, trying to get that Spectre up close and personal. Automatic catching Marv on that flank through tube, and things are looking fantastic right now for T1. Cutting it down to just the last three. Baby Bay does still have the knives. Is able to find some damage on automatic. Rockus picks one up with the Sheriff, and there's a Spectre to battle back now at 3v3. And it only takes one knife to the head to sit somebody down. A Skadoodle. Let's phase down one more member of that jet. Not long for the world. And Rockus has to try and do what he can. Full HP, but he's running out of time in the 1v2. And maybe he does just go for it Man. here. It is that bonus. He's got the credits in the next. Trying to hurt the economy here. This one got it down. Got They're here so ready the push to. Off the back end. Yeah, Seekers and Drone going forward here. They have good intel. Automatic zip lining his way through. They get started. They're found out here up against the back of the wall. And now they're taken down as a spike will get planted. It comes to the, the economy, right? Those credits aren't sitting too pretty. And it's getting a whole lot worse now in a 1v5. Zachary probably just backs away from this one. Would like to save the operator, but there's just no way. No, not at all. So spot automatic here towards the back of the pillar. We'll find that one. Tries to send it out, pick up the pace, and put that long B pressure early. Spider oh. trying to be the tip of the spear, but Zachary up close again in this boosted position. We'll get the opening pick. And they, they had the idea. They knew that he would be playing up there, but he peeks with the wrong time, and Zachary finds another off the back end of that reposition. He's looking to tie things up, and that absolutely hurts. Now, Corey, going to go toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Curry. In the post plan, Curry doing his due diligence, but Baby Bay spots him out, takes him down. Now, Automatic needs to go huge, but he's running out of time. He's going to fake the plant once. Ten seconds left. He possibly could do it again. Baby Bay drops down. Now, he has to go for the plant. One fake. Now, mm. that's going to be the end of the round, and he's looking to just find some exits. He is going to fall himself. Our long B. And it just didn't work out that time around. But Corey again getting aggressive here on A-side in this. And it stings a bit, right, to not get the kill with the ultimate. But he still finds one either way. Dazed is able to trade it back. So we're even. But FaZe has since denied so much space here. Ba out their game plan. You force them to deal with chaos all the way through each stage of the round. And that is what is benefiting FaZe so much right now. As they are being very successful in some of these duels that they're picking on the edges. Ace, though, has been reeling this back in every step of the way, right? He gets it back into a three versus three. Left. Still plenty of time to go. He's got spike possession, and Spider's caught rockets, and now everything has changed. It's Baby Bay with the operator, has the information and the sound cues. He's going to pop the blades of his own. So Bladestorm v. Bladestorm, the battle of the clones there. Baby Bay comes out on top. Somebody's waiting on the other side for the toxins to run out. Now with the spike planted, T1 up a player. Doodle. Lower in HP, but is able to find a kill on to Zachary. He's going to hop on the board as well. Marcus, unfortunately, not long for the world, and it's just a classic in the hands of the Sage, but Marv will fall. Five to three we go. T1. Our phase as they try to pivot from this A side of the map back over. Baby Bay, though, huge op shot here to even the numbers back up and stall out T1 and not allow them to make any more forward progress. You can see that now they're backing up, and it's being detected by the ult wow. to Zachary. Not out of the woodwork just yet. Should he try to play towards? Oh my goodness, Skadoodle spots the toesies there of Baby Bay, takes it down. So now Spider has nothing to worry about in that long range battle. And like you said, this Viper's pit, it's just so tough to deal with. Not only is it tough to deal with, but uh, unfortunately for Zachary, he altered away to get the information, but he was standing inside one of the snake bites. So he took so much damage. You see, he's sitting on one HP already, just barely walking in. He immediately. Gets sat down, and Corey might be looking to send it here, but this is definitely a save it style round. As the op will fall, looking to hurt the economy. It Should flashes so much of the site and gets you a lot of intel. Oh, another eco round phase, just looking to send it on the flank, but Curry, he heard you, Dustin. He starts creeping up the leaderboards on the kill feed. Zachary tried to use that shrouded step to get through that toxic screen he doesn't want to take the 50 damage it's only one kill at the end there t1 have pivoted to the a side raucous is still nearby keeping taz but curry is just disrupting things so well in that under two position making it so tough for face to help reinforce this a site 
And Skadoodle goes crazy there. Tossing out the Guiding Light. Able to escape with his life. Unfortunately, Baby Bay was still able to find one and a resurrection. It makes things even. But when you look at those health bars, things aren't looking too left. great here for this T1 squad. Showstopper online. As Marv works. With the, uh, the Necromancer corpse of Cory there. Bringing him <laughs> back to life. So no shield on the raise. But as I said, does still have the ultimate available. Satchel to go towards the back of sight. Curry, the only one of full HP able to find the kill and scoopable. Baby Bay pops the blade storm of his own. Looking to hop onto the site. Guiding light towards the back. Not gonna find any blinds just yet. Automatic goes aggressive towards screens and picks up one. But Baby Bay on the back line looking to make it hurt. But it's all down to Ruckus and it's Spider for a 3k with the operator. Nine to th easy peasy. Nobody able to wall bang through the Radiantite boxes just yet. Here on pistol round, and we find ourselves in a 5v5 retake. Yeah, don't see those too often, but that's what we're dealt here. Face trying to claw back into this game. Nice viper wall, though, will allow T1 to come forward. Automatic swinging in with Curry for a quick three frag. Spider slips in behind as well, and they have been absolutely wow. demolished in the retake. T1 only losing one player. Look to find a full buy. Or Might have to force rest the game. all the way through, yeah. yeah. And the way they have since taken the site, Spike to be planted now. Heels going out to try and top off Baby Bay. T1 waiting for everybody to link up here as they look to push through screens. And there's not a whole lot stopping them. You see them all stacked up there out towards mid. Lots of screens go up. Cloud versus trying to slow things down. Automatic find first, but Baby Bay right on the board just behind him. FaZe looking to win the force up here. This could be huge once more. Mounting their attack or they're mounting their way back to the game and they're finding their kills. It's all up to... In, in the first half where you, you, you lose a couple of rifles and you're finding yourself on so many ecos. Unfortunately for FaZe though, Curry and Automatic with a couple of rifles in their hands start to battle back. They want to claw back into this game as Curry finds another. Marv is able to trade one, but on the flank goes Days to find that kill. And through two, Rockus will find himself in a 1v3 situation. So I'm gonna spot out the Operator. Baby Bay there to find a kill as well. So now up down as Spider falls. Zachary has since positioned very aggressively up towards screens inside of his own dark cover. The spike be planted. Resurrection available. Bladestorm online if there's ever a time right now to keep Phase rolling. It would be now. Absolutely. Is Five on four post plant down. would be big. But again, that lockdown could come into play and push them back off the site. There it is. Lockdown to come through. Corey's able to find one onto Curry, though, which is a tongue twister in its own. Satchel charge trying to find the lockdown. Unfortunately, that blast pack not going to get too much done. So it looks to push everybody off. Only one detained. As they try to creep away, Paranoia going to be sent on through. Automatic find the first kill. Marv to trade it right back, but it's red. It's nice little four stack. Pushing out towards A. Corey to find the first. Nice little one tap there. Get things going. One kill away from that showstopper. Marv finds a nice collateral. Use up shot number two. Looking for number three. Oh. Rocket spots out the flank. A beautiful dink to kick off the fight. Peaks again and closes it out. Now FaZe with five members still standing. Looking to grab their eighth round here. And T1 might possibly looking to save. They don't have the credits to continue fighting, especially in a 1v5. Oh, absolutely. And this is one of those rounds where you see the potent. It's so much more punishing. You can't just push through it with, you know, peace of mind. You know it's going to cost you so much health on the decay. And so it just kept stalling out phase on this attack. And then we see automatic there, able to slip through, catch someone off guard. A great battle back from phase. That's when Curry can instill that second phase of his big. A little bit easier. That was a big round to win with very little and now spiders kick this one off as well in the right direction victory is still very likely here for t1 despite some of the shortcomings earlier in the half and just such good give and take from t1 they give you a little bit of space in the next round they take it right back right off the rip they're not letting phase play that aggressive style now they have since given up the site but it doesn't matter up v off and spider comes out on top marv to fall Hunter Shuri, the only ult online. Days is somehow uncleared on the site, and it's all down to one. Zachary needs to go huge, but that's going to do it. T1 on the site is automatic. He's going to get sniffed out. No, he finds the kill onto Baby Bay. One going to be quickly traded back. That Zachary on the board, and Marv to pick up another with the Frenzy. So the A site 
has since been opened up quite a bit. You still have one way on the flank, and Corey goes aggressive, but it's back and forth we go. Now it's down to one. Spectres for phase. It's another A hit with a fake plant coming through just to secure the kill on automatic, and that's all. Starts off not very quick. 45 seconds in, we find our first kill. Now phase down to the last four as they look to funnel on through inside this hookah lounge. Spider gonna be the first to contact here. Picks up one, picks up another, looking for more. Unfortunately, can't find the 1v2 after picking up two of the teammates on phase. They are gonna hop under the cosmic divide is there and shares. Now they're starting to really lay the hammer down on this A side. Baby Bay, no shocker, being the tip of the spear. Does get taken out, but Marv is quick to follow up. Keep that man advantage for FaZe. No more. A's big defense here in the corner. Gravwell oh. trying to pull him out of position, but he's able to bite down and keep his footing. But Corey using that pain shell to get him out anyway. It did cost another bit of utility. It's all down to Spider, who now... Or is that 2.07, which isn't being played yet? I think yet. it is 2.07, okay. yeah. Next to fall, that's down to three for T1. They look to find their way on the site. Bucky kill coming. This is the nerf Bucky. So hats off to Daze for being able to find that kill. He does get gravity weld back. He's vulnerable for a moment longer. Now it's only the Bucky, but a nice little wall bang from Baby Bay. That seems to be able to start getting forward on it. And this might be the ticket for T1 to change their destiny on this map. And they put two here this time. So I was wondering when something changes. They actually go to the teleporter as well, but a beautiful grab well keeps them in place and they're only able to find one. Zachary finds another and wow. unfortunately Skadoodle just not long for this world. They try to make a play for showers, but FaZe shut it down. And now they know where Days is as well, thanks to that guiding light. And so in the drone on through. Viper's pick gonna be used and I mean that's Seven deaths that it took to finally get that, and it's not going to oh amount to a God. whole lot. They just push up short and kill. Been a the majority of the time, and they just bunch up and go, and they just go out swinging, and their punches have connected time and time again. But Skadoodle maybe has a chance at the clutch. He's already gotten three kills. He's in a one v two. Baby Bay gets his presence there with the Odin, but it's just a wall of bullets that. And it is only one player down, Cosmic Divide to use for phase to try and take the site. Curl will fall. We find ourselves in a 4v4. A fine day. Days in a trade that hookah area. Oh, this round being fired for the headshot and Oh no, automatic! I thought Zachary was gonna find another, but he picks one up. Now we're down to a 2v2, running out of time though. That spike looks to get planted. Paint isn't spotted out. Corey just yet, and it's 13 HP versus 20 HP. The camera goes out. No shots on target. They don't even peek it. Boy, with the 3K on the round and dazed. He just got no time. He has to look to push it here and everything stacked against wow. him. The blast pack chips him down to nine as Marv much space again created. And, the you know, the 100 rounds going down range. It makes you want to back up no matter what you have. Unfortunately, it's down to Spider. In the last round, chipped away Corey to three HP. And this round has a 1v4, just a sheriff in hand. Yeah, I mean, there are three games. It's just nobody's able to get anything done. It's the same plays. Now, this time, starting to get stuffed as Curry gets some chip damage, tosses out the snake. Chipped away quite a bit as Baby Bay goes to work with That's the Odin once more. Automatic goes down and it faces the fit of Phantom in the midst of it and still gets taken down by Baby Bay's Odin. Now, spiders span through the wow. tube walls. As the side is taken, phase of a four on two days rotates, and Skadoodle's getting pinched from both sides. Oh my goodness, he gets one, but what can you do in this 1v3? Yeah, well, he's got a whole lot more time. Unfortunately, knife out as he takes. Turn that one spot not checked, and it comes back to haunt them. As we see so much focus being put on Corey up front, never spotting Marv here in the back. Winds up getting a hat trick to close out the round on this crossfire with Zachary, and phase just look unstoppable. It's a complete... The, the aggro shower push. Okay, I thought maybe they're going for the old traded back teleport. It's gonna be taken. Zachary's able to escape. Ruckus maybe not saying the same as automatic hops out of hookah. And Marv sits him down. This is looking like the last round here on Bond is phase. Try to I tie mean, the series up. They're just no chill in phase. They're like teleporting immediately. They're trying to take these fights, you know, deep into short A. Now they have three players on B site. And, I mean, T1's made the right pivot, but Baby Bay is still here, and he's lighting them up with this Ares. This is devastating. Scott able to get the one back, but still a tough 1v3 ahead of him here. He has no spike. And the spike is about to be spotted on the flank there. Oh, that it.
Maybe taken down, but they have information. Paint shells to follow him. Baby Bang gonna swing right up the back. Days able to find a kill onto the site, and automatic continues to go to work. Now fragging out here on the race. Zachary on the side all by their lonesome. Vulnerable, able to find the kill onto Automatic. Goes into the astral form like a madman to try and make a play. Unfortunately, he is cut down. And it's all up to Marv here with that spike planted in a 1v3. Yeah, just such a quick attack from T1 up a ramps and just able to trade out against that ropes rotation so effectively. Automatic obviously being a big trade fragger in at that moment slowing up this a site now spider might get caught oh he did. no way he just marved marv there in the mail room wow zachary oh zachary gets one rockets gets another so this is gonna hurt the bonus quite a bit that healing orb gonna be you get forward he has been slow, maybe they all oh, they seem to know they're swinging on him, but the Ooh. judge still comes out on top anyhow. Day is able to take a teammate down, but somehow Baby Bay is still standing in this corner. He's still not dealt with. Finally, Skadoodle takes him out, but it took so long and cleared out. Retake again coming in. There's no alts in place. So it's all going to come down to base abilities, aim, and timing. I would have to go back and watch, but what sparked that rotation to A? Was it the recall of the stars off of B that I made think that, and it's also just you have to gamble in a situation like this a little bit. You don't want to be spread thin defensively. You just have to kind of gear up together and hope for the best, and unfortunately they drew wrong, but maybe the retake is still on the cards. Oh, Spider almost goes huge there as Curry. Now needs to do just that. Needs to find three kills on the end of the round, but instead it's Marv to do so, and... Spider had the positioning for Tommy, but no, he might get max at himself through sewers. He does get Curry down, and he's actually able to escape for Skadoodle can punish him. Scott does spot him, though, going to the box, and now they know what's up. Trying to pull him out there. With that gravity well, unfortunately, not able to do so. They do have heaven control thus far. They spot him out, and here comes a cosmic divide to cut the site in half, and there's another backstab this time for T1 as dazed. And since made his way all the way through the spawn to open things up. A lot of time is already ticked down. They are trying to still make a push though. BBB, big pick onto Unimatic. So maybe that opens up something as now Rockus pitches in as well. 2v2 action. Day's gonna find a 3k on the round. Here we go. A 1v1. The dash away. Baby Bay looking to make plays. He's gonna hop on the spike. A fake once. A shot out, but dazed with the 4k. Yeah, could be that a cut rotation off that middle as there is the blast pack showstopper combo that's oh so dangerous on these attacks. And the rocket whiffs actually, but automatic at least able to recover with the Spectre. Day's also mopping Zachary up, so now everything seems to be going as plans daggers are gonna be a bit wide but baby bay finds a kill at the classic but still a very tough two on four ahead of them here oh he's so there's screwed. that wall again yeah just just keeping him locked in with that godding light but now they're already in b against one player and zachary almost had the timing almost had the angle unfortunately just a bit too slow finds a kill as they push onto the side it was marv to do so but a nice resurrection it's all five Alive and well. Curry looking to hold a tight angle. Finds Dink onto Baby Base. Now low HP. Goes a bit too wide and Skadoodle sits him down. Gravity well. to try and buy some time, buy some space. But FaZe, I don't even think at this point they could buy a round win. They do cut it down to one. They do have a resurrection and a showstopper available. Again, it's heroics. It's ultimates. It's everything FaZe has to send at this T1 roster. Corey looks to go aggressive. Shots go out. It's traded back and forth. Rock's able to pick up another. Now it's all up to Skadoodle in some way, somehow, FaZe get it done. A pretty uncontested. Onto this B site once more. FaZe seem to be content trying to play this retake style. Baby Bay hops into a cloud burst of his own. Able to find one kill on today's. Quite possibly looking for some more and has some updrafts to try and do so. With his alt, but I mean, with the spike. The, where it is, I'm not sure how he would escape. But that's oh. a big kill on the Zachary that gets into a three on three that opens up some options. But Corey is quick to trade back, and he is wow. not done. He will line them all up for the a lot of help on the way. So much utility traded out. Zachary there to try and back him up, and he's able to do just that. Automatic the raise to fall here after all the trades said and done. Gotta make sure they're clear into their corners. Corey finally gonna get caught out low on HP, so an easy kill for Curry. He's working his way up that leaderboard once more. Nice neural theft, but the guiding light, the seekers, everything thrown at Daze. He's able to stay alive for just a moment in a nice wall to keep it that way, but pretty corralled is this age. I don't know if Daze can get out of this one safely, especially with Marv right here, spotting the heads and shooting him. He's gonna hop up in the jump shot.
will land. A 3v3. Zachary low HP on the site, and that spike up in heaven. They still have a whole yeah. lot of opportunity. Yeah, they have a lot of time as well, and we are seeing that Skadoogle starting to make a wrap around here through B Heaven, catching Raucous blindsided. It's keeping Baby Bay focused here. Op will rattle out, though. Daggers are popped, and everyone's just so split up right now. A res comes in from days onto Unimac that could be so massive in securing the round now. As I'm no Baby Bay just has to send it 67 HP once more, separating him from death. Peaks to the round. The grapple will set on the push. Wall still goes down, but it's broken immediately. Automatic comes through, sends it, and finds his mark. But Corey has also responded in left. kind to keep it even. A spider taken off the board. It hurts, but oh, you... Oh, look at this. Look at oh. this fake. Wow. They have no idea. Face has no clue. What a play to mix it up by T1. Going for the res is Rockus. He's able to get it, and that kill does get traded back, so it's even. T1 still find themselves down a player. Make it even again as Skadoodle takes down the imposter in Zachary. And yeah, that was a huge heads up play by T1, but Baby oh, no. Bay making it hurt. And guess what? The Sage is too far away. Dazed can't get on the site. The fake was good, but the retake was better. And not giving up there. Yeah, I mean, it's a minimal information game situation like that. A little bit more there, though, as Corey grabs a kill and spots another couple of players. They will now transition to Spike through Sewers as Curry leads the way, but Baby Bay has found himself in this corner. Catches Curry Again. off guard. Still has the dash as well, the peak, and dash out! He dashes the opposite side to keep fighting. He's being grabbed while he's updrafting to stay out of this. Oh my goodness, he is putting on a show. Just narrowly missing there with the Nova Pulse to grab. Well, Baby Bay finds three, looking for four. Spider's able to sit him down on the last round of the half. All three members have since made. Really only pick up one before finally going down instead. Him again throughout the series. Lighting light up towards a ramp. Grabby want to slow things down. Corey to find the first kill. There oh it is. My. The controller's off the board, and the Smeegs will ensue. Automatic able to pick one up with. Oh my goodness! Day's gonna pick up two as well on the. Up the ropes here, leaving Zachary all alone, and a one v three only good for one down, making this retake even harder to deal with. I planted five v four. Nice little crossfire. From phase, as they find another kill or find another kill on the round. Baby Bay is able to pick up another spider. Gonna cut it down to a 3v3, so we just One can't escape. Remaining. It's even across the board until now, but Marv with the high ground only. Able to find that one kill onto Spider. They make it hurt. A little flicks. Gravity well, gonna slow things down. Days finds the first, looking for another, able to do just that. Automatic there to back him up, and it's the slaughterhouse up in B Heaven. Zachary, the only one to head a different direction. They'll have the rest. They still have all five players standing. A cosmic divide used for FaZe to try and slow down the retake. It will buy some time, but we'll see what else they can buy with this. Corey, not a whole lot of utility to his name. Just a couple of blast packs, maybe for positioning as he's right next to the cage. He's going to miss out. I don't even know if they would hear him, but he'd be pushing it through that one. Grab well, try and slow a push coming oh. up. Rock is forced to back away. The paint kill's getting so much damage on the inverse now. Marv from the side finds a blind on the one, able to find the kill on the days. It's a huge one to have as it's a top fragger and Corey gonna match Marv on the side, holding it down. Now Spider has to go so huge here, but he can't do it. He's, you know, rush A. Or it's still even one and put, done though. Put Mar yeah, it's one and done, and you have to be wary of the guiding light. Like maybe Marv isn't there, but. It makes your 50-50 of getting rush and push even less yeah. fortunate because if it's not a rush but Marv is still there, you're still in a really bad spot. They know you're exactly. there because of the guiding light. The B-side itself, no showstopper, but they still have plenty to work with. It's a secret to lead the way. Oh, Curry somehow finds that kill there, tries to take down the Seekers. Automatic gonna find another as they funnel into the B site, but they're taken down. Showstopper just to buy some space as the near side is there. And the from the shadows on the flank, Spider going huge in this round. He's righting his wrongs, and it's all down to Baby Bay as T1 looks to push to double dip. And Corey, who's only sitting on 77 HP. Meanwhile, Okay, I was gonna say, the Big recently catch. resurrected Baby Bay was looking for a flank, but Automatic able to sniff it out like the crime dog. 
turn things around. Marv from downtown picks up Days again. The top frag off the board, also the resurrection as Rockus goes aggressive. They're looking for a flank on the site. Automatic still going to work, but it doesn't matter. Only two remain. But Phaser, though, in the right place at the right time. Paint shells and satchels are slowing baby base approach here into A Heaven. He's eventually able to break through with Dash, but he's caught in the back. And T1 are stamping. Yeah, Space down. T1. Oh, no. Battled back by Zachary and Marv. Two remaining coming from this Heaven area. Spider Q's up the paranoia. Full HP. Moat goes through the dark cover. And a cutoff vision from Marv. There goes the paranoia. Cosmic divide and Curry gonna look to push through it through screens. No shots to go through. No sounds to be heard. Maybe not hearing Spider drop from Heaven. If he did, it was very muffled. As they look to crouch up towards this elbow position. Mike planted. Behind that sign, they hear the footsteps now. Zachary looking to swing onto the site. It's a 2v2. It's That's a winnable one for either team here. Spider gonna find the first kill. Finds the Not even make the regional final here in this stage. That's a great start to battle back, though, and the economy hurt on both sides. As the Seekers go through, Tudo able to dodge away from the near site, and they're going to town from heaven. T1, though, down to the last two. Days still alive, still has the resurrection, and Curry not giving up too easily. Baby Bay, Baby Bay with the blade storm available. It's all up to Days. The swing comes through and Days gets it done again. Sage wall to maybe kind of mask this A attack a little bit, but it does seem like A is the intended target based on everyone else's placement on the field. Face take a tactical timeout to further discuss it, but without the fallen player. Baby Bay, though, looking to make it hurt. No, Spider sits him down. What goes up must come down. Days finds another. That was on Corey. He can now get the resurrection, and FaZe are falling apart. It's down to the last 